Hey guys, Whiteside here, playing some Battlefield 3 beta. And uh, I decided to do this video today to sort of talk about like my thoughts on the beta and just so far, general impression. I, I was thinking of doing maybe like some sort of first impressions video last week, but I was kind of busy with school and, uh, you know, everyone else was doing their first impressions video. So this is more of like a, I played the beta for a couple days now. Uh, I've had time to sort of think of it. I've unlocked most of the basic guns and attachments. So, you know, I've kind of had time to kind of think about uh, what's good with the game and what's bad with the game. So I'm going to start out with what I like with the game, which is a lot of things, actually. Uh, first of all, I just the graphics are really great in this game. It's one of the best-looking AAA titles out there. I, I think it probably is the best-looking, other than maybe Crisis. And uh, the animations are a lot smoother than in Bad Company 2, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, the textures and everything are just really nice-looking. Uh, the other thing I really like is uh, the sort of rebalancing they've done with all the different classes. So uh, for those of you don't, who don't know, in uh, Bad Company 2, the soldier class had the ability to give ammo, and the light machine gun class had the ability to give health. And they've, they've changed it up for Battlefield 3, where now the soldier uh, puts down the med kits, and the light machine gun puts down the ammo. And when I first heard about that, I was kind of skeptical, and I was like, eh, I don't know if this is going to be a good thing. But I actually like it because it means now that soldiers, it's kind of more of a decision, like, do I want to put down a med kit, or do I want to, you know, shoot the bad guy, whereas... Uh, in Bad Company 2, the only thing medics would do is basically put down med kits and revive. So I, I actually like that. Um, the other thing I like is prone, as you saw right there. I, I got killed prone. I was, again, kind of skeptical about the prone. I thought it would be really powerful. And, you know, people would just camp prone the entire match. And although you can do that, it's not really a good idea because, like you saw, that guy just used a rocket and totally just destroyed me. So prone is sometimes good, but, you know, you don't see too much of people just camping prone in the same spot for an entire match. And if they do, you know, just grenades or rockets or anything like that will take care of them. Uh, I also really like the, uh, the ability to change your uh, mode of fire, so either full auto, burst, or single shot. I mean, it, it's in real life, all assault rifles have that ability. All modern assault rifles have that ability. And very few games, I think Counter Strike is one of the only other games that, even for only some of the guns in Counter Strike, can you do that. And I just really like it because, yes, in any shooter, you can control your rate of fire with, you know, the mouse or the trigger on the console. But I really like that you can just set your rate of fire and, uh,. You know, you can choose to be, you know, full auto or just take sniper shots. And it's also really great if you have something like the infrared scope or something on your assault rifle. Also, uh, the other thing I like, too, is the just uh, there's a great variety of guns in this game. Lots of, you know, I'm using the M416 for most of this video. It's, it's, it's just a great gun in game. But there's lots of different guns. And the other thing I like is no gun is bad. Any gun is usable. I mean, some guns like the AK-74 aren't quite as good as, like, an UMP. But it's not an unusable gun. So that, it's good that there's good gun balance and that no gun is too powerful. So now that I've kind of talked about the things I like, let's talk about some of the things I don't like. And the biggest thing I don't like is the whole origin battle log thing for uh, joining servers. It's just... It's a nightmare to join servers. I often spend like five or ten minutes just waiting to get into a server. And in a game, you really shouldn't be hard to, you know, get into the game and play a game. And in this, at least in the beta stage so far, it's just kind of hard to play. Like, you, you get kicked a lot. All the servers are laggy. Um, you know, it'll say stuff like the server's full when there's like 12 people in it, which is just annoying. So I really hope they fix that. Uh, because, you know, dedicated servers are a great thing, and that's part of what makes PC gaming so good is, you know, dedicated servers and PC gaming. But right now, the thing is, it's just, it's too hard to get into a game. Uh, I know on console, I was talking to my friend, he plays on Xbox, uh, and he said that parties, it's really hard to get into a game in a party, so that's not good for console. Uh, PC, I only have, like, I only know one other guy who plays it on PC, so I, uh, that we haven't had really any issues with that, but I can imagine on console, especially because, you know, co most console games don't have dedicated servers, it's just they're probably having some trouble getting the servers to work, and that hopefully, uh, with the experience from the beta, they'll be able to, you know, if we get the servers fixed, make it in the actual release, make the game better so you don't spend 10 minutes waiting to get into a server. So I just hope they fix that. Uh, the other thing is uh, just some game balance issues. I think, like, right here, flashlights are just kind of powerful. I know 
I'm not going to say they're overpowered, but I think they could be toned down a little. Uh, same with the laser sights and grenades. Grenades seem to have a really huge radius in this game. Like, I'll throw a grenade and someone like 30 feet away from it will get blown up, which I'm not complaining about, but when it happens to you, it's really annoying. So I just hope that, you know, they sort of get that. And also some of the guns, like the M416, I use it because it's pretty powerful. Same with the UMP. So I think they could afford to do a little uh, balancing with the weapons and that. Uh, there's also a lot of glitches, like you see right here, I'm actually walking on the water, so either I'm like, I'm Jesus Christ, or there's a pretty bad glitch in the game, but, uh, I mean, obviously it's the beta, so I know there's gonna be glitches, but, uh, it would just be, I, I hope there aren't this many glitches when the actual game launches, because that would be just really annoying. Like, right here, again, as you can see, the screen, like, my, uh, my view's totally, like, blue. Uh, sometimes when you spawn in, everything has this, like, really blue tone to it. I think that's when you're in, like, the menu, there's its blue background, and sometimes that just gets sort of, like, the whatever filter gets put on over the actual game, and it's really hard to see stuff. I actually managed to get a kill somehow, I don't know how, but as you can see, everything's really dark. Also, another thing is sometimes, like, your reticles will pop in and out, like, when you're zoomed in. You'll zoom in and you physically won't see your, like, ADS. It'll just be, like, the screen zoom in. I think I, think I have a clip of that up here somewhere, but, uh, so, yeah, lots of glitches. I'm not complaining too much because it's, it is a beta. I just really hope they use the beta as an opportunity to figure out the glitches and to sort of find ways to fix them. And so when the actual game comes out, it's not this glitchy because if it is, they're going to turn a lot of people off. Yeah, see right here, my gun is just like floating next to me and then I'm trying to aim down sight and like it just nothing happens. So yeah, lots of glitches. Uh, a couple days ago, like every two minutes, you'd fall through the ground. I think they fixed that. There was like a small patch. But, uh, yeah, so, again, lots of glitches, but overall, it's a very good game. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, the glitches aren't game-breaking, they're just kind of annoying. The server system, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't want to call it game-breaking, but it's just really hard to get into a game, and it shouldn't be. I mean, not for a game like Battlefield. Yeah, so that's basically my thoughts on the beta so far. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you really like this video. Uh, give it a favorite. If you want to see more Battlefield videos, I'll probably do a couple more during the beta, and I'm definitely going to be doing some videos, maybe even weekly series, when the actual game comes out. So subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.